Okay, guys, welcome again to another webinar. And today we're going to be looking at two assets, so which is CAD and gold. And the main reason is because I've gone beforehand and checked the COT reports and I've selected the ones that I believe would be a decent one to look into. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. It's a free community. Say whatever you like, you know, you're free to. And if you have questions, we'll be sure to get back to you in the comment section. And if you have further questions, you can just go to the website from the description and you can get someone to answer you on the contact page. So that being said, if you're new here, what we do here is this. We have three, three tools that we look at. And one is seasonality, one is COT report, and the other is probability, right? And those that are already here knows what this is. Now, COT is basically called Commitment of Traders Report, and it's split up into three categories. So category one is the commercials, category two, non-commercials, and category three, non-reportable. Now, commercials are people that don't make money out of the market. They're not looking to make money out of the market. Let's say, for example, if we're looking at gold, they're just looking out to buy gold. You know, whoever's out there, hey, do you sell gold? Yeah, I sell gold. How much is a gold right now? Uh, gold is uh, 44000 a kilo. You know, okay, cool. Uh, I would like to secure that gold right now. I don't want the gold right now, but I want to secure that price of 44000 right now. So what happens then is in the future, if the price of gold end up going to 49000 they end up paying that 44000 And if the price of gold end up going to 39000 they still end up paying that same 44000 because they've secured the market on that. And those are the people we want to look to follow because they're not looking to make money out of the market. Before they go to price this gold, they've seen some indications, they've researched, and they wanted to get the best price for the asset they wanted to buy. Now, non-commercial is the opposite. They're just trading it. Oh, we think gold is going to go up, buy gold. We think gold is going to go down, sell gold. So they're trading it, right? And those people are mostly emotionally attached to that because at the end of the day, if they don't get that right, they lose their money, right? So you could go broke with that. But imagine if you're buying gold at the raw stage, you can't go broke with that because if you give 44,000, like 44,000 pounds right now, let's say, for example, I'm not saying price of gold is 44 at the moment per kg. I think maybe it's higher than that, maybe 60 at the moment. But, you know, what will happen is you don't lose your money. You, you pay them that money in, you know, in the present or in the future, you get that gold. That's how it is. So that's why we follow them because they're, no emotionally attached to their money. And they seem to get it right most of the time that are non-commercials. Non-commercials are like banks, institutional traders, retail traders, and you know, and the list goes on. Non-reportable, I have no clue who those people are, but you know, you know, but I think they're just sending elites that have a lot of money to you know put in market. Nevertheless, next one is seasonality. There's four quarters in the year, Q1, two, three, four, and market move differently in each quarter. So what we tend to do is we want to know which quarter we're in and what we see the price is going to do. And the last one is probability is a tool that we developed in-house. We don't have the, the idea wasn't ours, but we developed it by ourselves. We got the idea and then we developed it ourselves. And we can see through the year from now to the end of 2023, 31st of you know December 2023, we can actually see what's the percentage of our win by the 31st of December. So what we tend to do is we use these three tools combined and it's going to give you a better outlook into the market. Now, keep in mind, this isn't me telling you that, you know, you have to trade the way I am. I'm just simply showing you how I trade. It's for educational purposes only. And I'm showing you my own bias towards the market. If you have your own bias, you know, feel free, you know, trade your bias. And if you want to trade some of my bias, please make sure you have your consensus. I'm not advising, this isn't financial advice for you to trade certain assets. So let's just get that clear and out of the way because if you don't trade it the way we trade it, you could lose your money and I'm not liable for that. So I'm not giving you any financial advice. I'm just showing you what I do, educational purpose only. So that being said, let's dive into it. So COT report for CAD. Now, what we look at is commercials, right? Long means buy, short means sell. There's non-commercials and the non-reported. I already spoke about these three categories already. And what we are looking at now is if they're going long or short. Now, I just look at the changes, right? I don't look at anything else. I don't care about anything else. All I look at is the changes. Is it long or short? Now, they, had, they added 30 positions in here. It's not much, but they added 2,000 here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say CAD, the short. 
right? Now, CO2 is a lag, lagging indicator. It lags by a week. So it's released, I think, every Tuesday. So the next one's going to come out on Tuesday. So what we're trading off is of last week's report. And regardless, it's still very accurate. So next one we'll look at is gold. What's that? Next one we we'll look at is gold. So gold, we have that also going short. Did I get that CO2 uh, for that, right? I just want to quickly load this back. My mind's tend to skip something on that asset. Yeah, that's right. So gold also is going short. So we have gold. Now we are going short. So we have two assets going short. Now that's it for CO2 report. We don't need to do nothing else. Next thing we go and look at is the seasonality. So remember, I spoke about it just like literally there's different four seasons in a year. And what we tend to do is look at our pr price is most likely in a position in each of those seasons. So, I mean, gold comes first right here. So I'm just going to load up gold. So let's see. So we're expecting it to go short. This is the 9th of 07th of July. And let's see what gold is saying. So this is... This chart represents the 5, 15, and 47 years. So in the past 47, 15, and 5 years, our price has moved relatively. You can see there is a pattern in it. And basically what we're trying to look for is a pattern, right? And what we're going to trade is that pattern. So what we have, we are at this region right now, we are at here. Now, COT is saying short, but seasonality is saying long. So for that reason, I'm not going to trade gold because alignment is no longer in play. These three has to be aligned, moving in the same direction for more than at least a week, right? And then it has to also align with the COT. So for now, it's not aligning with the COT because if we look at right here on the night, right? You're expecting price to still relatively go up. But what we're seeing right here, uh, we're expecting price to relatively go up. But what we're seeing right here on the COT is short. So for that reason, buy go. Next thing we'll look at is CAD. Now, every week you might not get an alignment. That's the beauty of trading. If you don't get the alignment, don't trade it. When you get the alignment, trade it like crazy. That simple. You don't have to be in the market every week. It's not nine to five. You know, so I mean, unless you want to make it a nine to five, like then that's a different scenario. So we're looking at short also for CAD. And what we can see off the bat right here. So let me just zoom in a little bit. Same rule apply. We're looking for it to go short on all three. And what we can see right here is on the ninth, you have that short one, short two, and then it start going long, and then short comes in on the 14th. We're better off waiting until the 14th to see what happens because that gives us at least a week. One, two, three, four. Yeah, about four to, yeah, four trading days, almost a week that we can capitalize on. Right here, seems very risky. It only gives us two days and then come back up. I don't do that. I don't trade anything less than three days alignment, preferably a week or preferably if you can get a month. So right now, CAD doesn't align. If you don't align like somewhere like here, we're going along. These are beautiful trades to go. Go for it. So on that note, we don't have any alignment. Those are the two that I only looked at on COT spectrum. And because there's no alignment in that, that's it for this week as well. You don't need to trade. You just have to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You can look at the market. You can do whatever you want to do and come back next week and trade it again. So that's all I have for you guys this week. And I'll catch you on the next one. So if you want to get the membership, or if you want to analyze more assets, there's a lot more assets there to analyze. There's even stocks to analyze. Let me just actually load up the stock. Seal, uh, seasonality. So yeah. Uh, so there's also stocks there to, you know, to look into. So if you need to get, you know, if you want to trade really badly and you want to, get the tools to see exactly what it is you can just go to the website business or damn empire or uk and you should be able to get your membership so the link is also in the description and you can get your membership from there so thank you very much guys for attending this webinar and i catch you the next one stay blessed stay stay, stay dangerous and god bless you god bless you